All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we welcome you back to America Talks Live. Uh, earlier, I had a chance to talk with a true American hero. Watch. And joining me now, Amber Smith, former U.S. Army Kiowa warrior and author of, what a book, Danger Close, My Epic Journey as Combat Helicopter Pilot in Iraq and Afghanistan. Amber, welcome. Thank you. It's great to be with you. I mean, uh, you fought in Afghanistan. You fought, you fought in Iraq. You flew those uh, amazing helicopters for the 101st Airborne. You get close to the battle in flying those uh, helicopters. So there's nobody more equipped uh, or qualified in my mind to, uh, to talk a little bit about uh, what's going on here. You just heard Donald Trump talk about Hillary. Um, I think you also viewed the uh, Matt Lauer uh, intrepid event of commander in chief of, of Forum. Uh, who, do you, uh, who do you think came out better and who do you support? Well, I think that it was sort of a preview of what we might see from the upcoming presidential debate. I think that Donald Trump came out strong with his um, foreign policy stances and his uh, basically uh, pro-military stance, looking to rebuild our military. Uh, as we all know, over the past eight years, our military has been slashed to pre-World War II levels. And so I think he made a pretty strong case about rebuilding the Air Force, rebuilding the Navy, as well as building uh, back up the Army to about a 540,000-man strength army. Uh, so I thought he made a very strong case. And in terms of Hillary Clinton, I thought she came across as very defensive. Uh, the whole classified information um, mismanagement with her emails um, is important to me. I was in the military. I had to hold a security clearance, so I don't see why she should be held to a different standard. And it just seems that when she gets questioned about this, she almost seems like she's annoyed and wants to know why the American people aren't past this. Right, um, right. Instead of understanding why it is an issue to them and why it keeps coming up. So you're not surprised that the uh, polls show that military people serving now and people who have served, our veterans, support Trump by about 19 percent? No, I'm not at all. I think that they know what a Hillary Clinton commander in chief would look like. She is going to be a third term of President Obama. And we've seen how the military members and veterans have been treated under the Obama administration, uh, n not only when they come home and, ha and are put into the veterans affairs system, but how they are expected uh, to go into war with sort of this political gen agenda. Um, they're being asked to do more with less. They're getting less training hours. Uh, you know, they're being told that they aren't deploying to Iraq when we have soldiers in Iraq right now fighting ISIS. And so it's very much a semantic words game with this administration. And I just think a lot of people in the military are, are uh, tired of being treated as pawns and such. Well, Amber, let me ask you, uh, how did you get, how did you decide to do uh, the dangerous job that you, that you trained for and, and did serving our country? Well, my journey started out long ago. I outline it all um, through the journey in my book, Danger Close. Uh, I grew up in a very patriotic and military background family all the way back to World War I when my great-grandfather served in the Battle of Verdun and grandfather in World War II. He flew between Northern Africa and Europe, and then my dad served in the 82nd Airborne. And so after high school, I took the standard route, went to college, and then 9-11 uh, happened, and that sort of reopened my eyes to the threats that we face as a nation and the realities of the world that we live in today, and it sort of re-sparked my interest um, in my love of country and wanting to serve my country, and I just decided that I didn't want um, my dreams of the military and serving my country be something that may happen. I wanted to make it a reality. So I looked into all the different programs and I realized that the Army Warrant Officer Flight Program was perfect for me. And so um, I took all the tests and did all the interviewed and applied for the program. And, it, and it's just an amazing story of, of, of heroism, uh, patriotism, bravery, and uh, it's all there in Danger Close uh, by Amber Smith. Amber, thank you so much and God bless you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it.